by the morning sun. New day have just begun. Girls, today we're reading tea book, and I invited a special guest. She's my friend at school. How about you introduce yourself to my friends? Hello, guys. My name is Alan, and I like to do gymnastics with Sophie and other friends. So today we're reading Duck on a Tractor by David Shannon. Down on the farm, Duck sometimes got wild ideas. One day, he decided he could ride a bike. So he did. Then he spotted the tractor. I bet I can drive a tractor, he said. The other animals weren't so sure, but they all said, "Well, if he can ride a bike, maybe he can drive a tractor too." Duck climbed on the tractor and looked around. He pushed some metals and wiggled the metal stick, but nothing happened. Then a shiny little piece of metal by the steering wheel caught his eye. He pulled it out, pushed it in, then he turned it. All of a sudden, the tractor shook and coughed and rumbled. It began to move. At first, it moved very slowly and it jerked a lot, but it was fun. Doug drove. Around the barnyard until he got the hang of it. Then he stopped in front of the other animals. Climb on, everybody! Shouted Duck. Dog was first. He jumped right up next to Duck. Woof! Said Dog. What he thought was, "We're going for a ride." To everyone's surprise, Cow clambered on next. Moo! Said Cow. What she thought was, "This is the silliest thing I've ever done." Pig and Pig took a seat in the back. Wink, said Pig and Pig. Well, what they thought was, this sure beats walking. Then came Chicken, Mouse, and Goat. Squawk, said Chicken. Well, what she thought was, last one on is a rotted egg. Squeak, said Mouse. Well, what she thought was, I can see everything grow up here. Ma, <laughs> said Goat. Well, what she thought was, I'm hungry. Does the garbage dump have a drive-through window? Next up were horse and cat. Cat jumped up gracefully onto the tractor. Horse not so much. Meow said cat. But what she thought was, I was going to take a nap, but this should be very interesting. Nah said horse. But what she, he thought was. I think I'd rather walk. The only one left on the ground was sheep. Ha <laughs> ha! Said sheep. Well, what she thought was, this is too dangerous. Get on, sheep! Everyone shouted, but sheep wouldn't budge. So Duck started driving away without her. Wait! Cried sheep. Don't leave me here all alone. She ran after the tractor and took a flying leap onto it. Quack! Yelled Duck. Well, what he thought was, boo! Duck steered the tractor down the lane and out onto the main road. And before long, they were driving right through the middle of town. It was lunchtime, so most people were in the diner. They all looked up when Duck and the other animals passed by the big window. A little boy named Edison was having lunch with his grandma. Did you ever? Grandma gasped. But what she thought was, a duck on a tractor? That's impossible. That's totally awesome, Edison shouted. But what he thought was, no one's gonna believe this. Marcine, the waitress, looked up from her padded nose cat. Heavens to Betsy! She exclaimed. But what she thought was, I like cats. Dippity Bob blabbered. If that don't bet all. But what he thought was, how am I going to explain this to the chef? A man named Otis chimed in. I must be seeing things. But what he thought was, oh no, not again! Holy cow! Hard man need to cook. But what he thought was, holy cow! Man usually 
said exactly what he thought. The mayor almost choked on his pie. Good gravy, he sputtered. What he thought was, those pigs are even fatter than I am. Corky just whistled, but what he thought was, that duck is smarter than he looks. Gwen came out of the restroom. Would you look at that, she exclaimed. But what she thought was, I can't see a thing without my glasses. Farmer Odell observed that a dang nice tractor. But what he thought was, hey, that's my tractor. He decided he'd better go after it and ran out of the door. Everyone else ran out too and chased after him. By this time, Duck had turned onto the next street. The tractor shuddered to a stop. Duck tried turning the shiny little piece of metal again. Nothing happened. I don't know much about spelling, it's a dog, but I think that E means it's the end of our ride. She cleared her throat. You know, she said, I think we might get in trouble for this. Let's get out of here, yelled Duck. Just as Farmer Odell and everyone from the diner came around the corner, look at all of these people. They're like, what happened? They're like, <laughs> Corky. Corky eating his sandwich. Like, mmm. Gwen has her glasses back. So, boys and girls, on this page, we read about the E and the F. So, if you have a car in your house, and if your car of this line is pointing to the E, that means your gas is empty. But if the line is pointing at the F, that means your gas is full, so you're free to go. Everyone burst out laughing. Nah, they all said. It couldn't have been. It was an optical illusion, exclaimed Otis. Farmer Odell said he must have left his tractor running by accident. I guess that explains it, Deputy Bob agreed. Then they all went back to the diner to finish their lunch. And on one ever admitted that one that day, they had seen a cow, a goat, a cat, a dog, a sheep, a chicken, a horse, two pigs, a mouse, and a duck on a tractor. The end. So boys and girls, Ellen and me really loved this book. It was very interesting. So, Duck had a very crazy idea. He wanted to steal Farmer Odell's tractor. And then, I loved how Duck was so nice. He called a climb on everybody to the animals. It was very nice of him, and everybody climbed on. And I loved how everybody surrounded Duck. None of the animals said, "Ugh, oh, you're so crazy. I'm not going to go with you. Or nobody said, are you crazy? We might get in trouble. I'm not coming. But Sheep said it. Sheep. Sheep. Well, she did climb on. She said this is too dangerous, but she did climb on. She was r really worried. Yeah, but yeah. she still climbed on. Uh-huh, but then she thought... It was fun. She thought was, we might break the Farmer Odell tractors. Yeah. I loved how nobody was mean in here. Nobody was arguing. So, boys and girls, See you next time on the letter U that makes the sound up. Uh. Bye. Bye. Ooh, sun is shining.